called a control freak. But if I'm honest, I really have to admit that I like to feel in control. I really do. Yet trying to control everything all the time is hard. And most of us want things to be easy. I know I do. So I've stopped trying to control. Stop trying to control everything as much as I can. And instead I focus on allowing things to be easy. I have had many a coach in the last year say to me, Nina, let it be easy. Allow it to be easy. So that is my new mantra. Even this video, I am here in my new office in New Mexico. There are still boxes down there on the floor and uh, nothing behind me except the wall because that's what there is. And it was easiest for me to sit here at my desk and shoot a video rather than trying to set up my, my little gorilla pod or my other tripod and to find a good place to actually do this. And so, I didn't even get the video done in time for the blog to be published that accompanies it, um, that always accompanies the YouTube video, um, because it just felt hard and I was trying to control my whole day in, and control myself to get it done by Sunday when that just was so hard. <laughs> And I couldn't control what was going on. You know, we're moving into a new house. We're trying to get things done. And um, my back was out. And so, you know, I just stopped trying to control it and have the video done on time and find a place and all of that and just allowed it to be easy. And so here I am talking to you from my office, which is not unpacked. <laughs> There's nothing on the walls. Anyway. If 2020 and 2021 have taught us anything, it's that we are not in control of a lot of things, but we want, try, work, need to maintain control. And that's exhausting as well as impossible. There are so many things that uh, we try to control such as people, uh, situations, um, oh my God, just so many things. <laughs> People, uh, situations, finances, health, relationships, career, but there's really only one thing we can control, and that's ourselves. In some cases, even that seems impossible. Like I said, you know, getting this video done on time felt really kind of impossible and very hard. So instead of attempting to control everything, what I'd like you to try doing is to allow it all to be easy. And you could even get yourself one of those staples easy buttons to remind yourself, I'm thinking about getting one for myself. When you allow things to be easy, you discover you actually have more control than you think because everything is energy and the energy of control is a low frequency. On the other hand, the energy of ease, let it be easy, of ease, as well as of allowing is a high frequency. That means the, the, your attempts to control actually block the magic that's available to you, while the energy of allowing opens you to the abundance of miracles. And the more you focus on allowing things to be easy, the less, less difficult it becomes to get the desired outcomes, the ones you're trying to control for. In fact, you're going to discover that it's easy to get exactly what you desire when you just allow it to be easy. So as I said, I just moved um, and the moving process was one I was really wanting to control. But let it be easy has become my mantra and it's working much better for me than trying to control. And um, I realized that I had to give up any attempt to control when this whole moving process began. Moving, my husband and I chose to move from California to, Me to New Mexico and I began to encounter a whole bunch of issues that I really, really wanted to control. For example, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't sell or even give away some large pieces of furniture in my home, a piano, a beautiful entertainment center. And I couldn't figure out why it seemed so difficult to even donate these items. Um, I couldn't, couldn't make someone take them unless I actually paid them to haul them off to the dump. And I really wanted to control this. I didn't want to bring these items with me. I wanted to make some money from them or at least get them out of the house long before we were moving, before the moving truck came. Additionally, 
we ran into supply chain issues when we tried to purchase a washer and a dryer, a mattress and bedroom furniture. Um, in many stores couldn't guarantee delivery dates um, because the items weren't in stock, plus their delivery estimates were long after we were scheduled to move in. And we were like, okay, but we need a bed, right? Or well, more, more than that, we need a washer and dryer. We had a bed that we could have used in the meantime. But um, anyway, I'm gonna sneeze, <laughs> excuse me. Um, also, we tore out all the rugs in the new home. Um, there was a smoker in the house and the rugs were old and smelly and we tore them all out, planning to replace them with luxury vinyl plank flooring. And we were told that the flooring that matched the existing tiles in the house wouldn't be available until May. We had this woman who said she would work with me as a designer if I ordered flooring from, you know, through her. Well, she couldn't get the flooring till May. And that meant that all three bedrooms on their adjacent closets, as well as one, my husband's office, would have cement for that period. Um, so from January till May. Uh, so despite all our efforts to find a different option and the designer's attempts to find a different option, all the samples didn't match the exi existing tiles correctly. So I realized that there wasn't much I could do to solve these problems. They were totally out of my hands. I couldn't twist people's arms <coughs> to purchase or take my unwanted items into their homes. I couldn't make the shipments come in or, you know, or demand that deliveries be made on my timeline. There was just no way. Sorry, I'm having an allergy attack. Something I also can't control. Anyway, I had to make a choice. I could continue to struggle to find different options like for the flooring. Um, and that was the hard route, or I could make decisions and allow everything to fall into place based on the choices I made. And that was really the path of least resistance. <clears throat> so I decided to make decisions because that was easier. So the first decision I made was to allow everything to be easy. Like I said, my coaches kept saying, let it be easy, allow it to be easy. But I had continued to try and control and make things hard. So this decision was the most important one I made. <clears throat> With that decision made, I made other decisions. For instance, I chose to give all the remaining furniture, large, gorgeous, expensive items away. And if no one took them to actually pay someone to take them to the local dump, I decided to not worry about what to do with them. I made the decisions and that was it. Then I decided to purchase <clears throat> only the essential items we needed um, from stores that had the items in stock. My husband and I went to several stores for the washer, dryer, and mattress. And if the sales rep said, you know, well, we expect delivery by this date, we walked out. If it wasn't in the warehouse, we didn't buy. We finally found places that had them in the warehouse and we purchased these items. We didn't price shop. We made all our decisions based on immediate availability. As for the bedroom furniture, which was not essential, as long as we had the mattress, we could sleep on the floor. We, and, and again, we had another mattress. <coughs> so even that was okay. Anyway, um, we decided to choose the furniture we liked the most and not to try to match it to the floor or anything else, to, just to get what we liked most and to just wait for delivery. And um, we were told with this furniture that we could expect a delivery in late February, but we were told, you know, the salesman said, don't hold me to that. So we ordered and decided to use our mattress on the floor if necessary, since we'd already purchased that. So it was in stock. But when it came to the flooring, we went back and forth. And in the end, we decided to purchase the style we really wanted, even if we had to wait months for it. Everybody kept saying, you don't want to live with furniture you don't you know flooring you don't like for years and years and years so we decided not to settle and the only thing I did here was I decided to make a few calls in case we could find someone who could get the flooring to us faster because the designer couldn't get it till May um, through and her source was actually the same as a distributor that I called but the distributor only two calls and I found a distributor whose rep said that um, we might have the shipment by mid-February which was way better than May. So we put in the order and then I stopped worrying 
about the things that were out of my control. I had done everything I could do. And I just kept saying, let it be easy. Okay. That's when the magic started to happen. I made the decision to allow things to be easy and all the subsequent decisions that aligned with the first one um, created magic. First, the largest, one of the largest items on my list of furniture that couldn't accompany us to, to New Mexico sold the piano, not for much, but everyone had said to me that there was no way I was gonna get this piano sold. Nobody wants real pianos anymore. <laughs> they just want the electric ones. They said I'd have to donate it. And I had somebody in the wings saying they would pick it up um, as, as a donated item, but somebody bought it for a little bit of money and took it away. <laughs> the second thing that happened was that all the other unwanted items in my house, including uh, a bedroom set and this gorgeous entertainment center um, left in the nick of time. Um, no, I didn't get any money for them, but that was fine. I had decided that it was fine. I didn't have to get anything. I just, you know, I, I would even haul them to the dump. And so suddenly people came and took them away. It was amazing. <laughs> I didn't have to take them to the dump, which made me very happy. Then we got to New Mexico. And within that first week of being here in the house, the furniture for the bedroom began to arrive. It's like magic. We'd been sleeping on the new mattress on the floor for a few days and the sales rep from the furniture store called to say that the bed frame had arrived um, and wanted to know if he could send it on over. We actually made the decision to keep it in the warehouse until the flooring was done. And also it was missing the dressers and the nightstands. So we just said, well, let's just wait and get one shipment or at least get the shipment after the flooring comes in. But that was miraculous because he could not tell us when it would be in other than sometime late February. Then finally, I called to check on the flooring shipment and delivery, and I was told it would be in New Mexico by the end of this week, by the 21st. Um, I have not gotten tracking numbers yet, but still, that was a far cry from even what the distributor had told us. So instead of waiting for five months for it, we actually might have flooring um, totally installed before the end of January. Um, I could hardly believe how easy all these things came together, but I learned a really essential lesson and that is to stop controlling and allow things to be easy. So you may have heard sometimes people ask you, would you rather be right or happy, right? I want to ask you whether you would rather be in control or happy. I would rather be happy than in control. And what I've discovered is that it's impossible to be happy and to try to control everything. There's literally no way to control everything. So trying to accomplish that feat is gonna just leave you frustrated, um, unsatisfied and exhausted. And that leads to continual unhappiness. So my mantra continues to be, allow it to be easy. At the moment, I am trying to find a package receipt for something I sent to my, two packages I sent to my son in Germany and um, they haven't arrived. And of course, with the move and everything, I have no idea where they are uh, or where it is. And um, I was getting super stressed. Um, and instead I affirmed, let it be easy. I allow it to be easy. And I just imagine that suddenly be the packages suddenly showing up in Germany without me even finding this tracking number. Everything can be easy if you allow it to be. And the focus on easy attracts what you desire to you into your experience while trying to control repels it. I would love to know if you have had miracles happen because you try, allowed things to be easy. I'd love to know and have you leave me a comment down below and let me know what miracles have happened for you. So I'm still playing with this. We'll see if the track, if the packages just arrive on their own or if I find miraculously the uh, tracking numbers, but I wanna hear about your miracles. So I am Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I um, am a certified high performance coach, an inspired results coach, and an author coach. And in everything I do, I combine personal and spiritual growth um, in an attempt to help you step into your best self and live your best life most fully, in the most full way possible. I help people get from where they are to where they want to go without themselves getting in the way. I help them combine their, combine their passion and their purpose so they get inspired and create inspired results. Um, if you are looking for transformation in your life, um, I would love to talk to you and see if I can help you. 
Um, I, I think of myself as an intuitive um, transformational catalyst, and I would love to help you create the change that you desire. So if that's of interest to you, you can work with me one-on-one, -on -one, but one of the best places to work with me is to join the Inspired Creator community. The link is up above. In the Inspired Creator community, I offer certified high-performance coaching, inspired results coaching, and training. And as a bonus, if you're a writer, you get everything in my Nonfiction Writers University master's program, and you get monthly author coaching. So if any of this is of interest to you, click above. Um, and if you would prefer to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, go over to ninaamir.com and there is a, there is tons of information. You can just reach out to me, tell me what you want or click on through any of the options and sign up or send me an application for high performance coaching. Anyway, I, my, my wish for you is that you let everything be easy and you experience many, many mir miracles as a result. Until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.